makeup tutorials for 2016. I've actually been on holidays the past two weeks, which is why there was a little bit of a break on my channel, but I'm back and I've got plenty of Halloween tutorials um, planned for this year. I'm super excited about them. I can't wait to share my ideas with you and I'm gonna get started with this one. This one was obviously inspired by a galaxy. First I was thinking of doing just like galaxy eyes, like something like that, but um, I thought this would be so much more fun and creative and more effective as a full face and like body painting look. So I don't have a particular character in mind. I was thinking like queen of the universe or something like that. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really fun. It's really creative. It's something really different than the sort of traditional Halloween um, makeup for like more of the typical costumes. So I think this would be a total standout if you did something like this. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I've got tons more videos coming up um, for Halloween. And also you can check out my Halloween playlist. Over the years I've done so many looks and I'm sure there's already one in there that would suit your costume if you already have a costume planned. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let's get started. Okay, so I know it looks like I'm naked here, but alas, I'm not. I'm wearing um, a top here. <laughs> and I'm going to start out with a cream palette. Now, this is a really good dupe of the Makeup Forever Flash palette, but it's a fraction of the price. I will have a link to this below where you can buy it because it's absolutely genius for face painting. And these are cream face paints, so I'm getting a little bit out with the spatula. And I'm going to be mixing a blue, a black, a white, and a teal color. They're all from that palette and I stippled this on with a sponge. Now if you are going to be using a sponge make sure you use something really cheap because you'll probably have to throw away the sponge at the end of this because it is just soaked full of product and almost impossible to clean. So I'm using a really cheap sponge and then um, stippling that all over and kind of blending all those colors together. Remember a galaxy is very dark so um, I kind of wish I'd used a little bit more black in here but I'm going to balance that out later and I'm going all over my my chest and neck area and then also of course my face now you want to do this wherever your arms or upper body or whatever come out of your costume so if you're wearing like a dress or a strapless gown or something like that um, you want to make sure you cover up all your skin so I'm also of course covering my ears and then my entire face up to my hairline and actually working it into the hairline as well So next is an accent color. I'm going to be using some of the hot pink that's in there and this is going to work like a purple because when it blends with the blue it looks kind of more like an intense purple color. So I'm doing a little bit of purple kind of in splotches everywhere. So you don't want to put it all over the place but kind of just blend it in in different areas. And I am just vibing with the music that I'm listening to here. I was really into the hip hop that I was listening to. So I felt the colors were just a little bit too light for a galaxy look. So I used a matte black powder eyeshadow on a really big brush. This is more like a blush or a powder brush. And I'm just kind of deepening up the color here. And also using a powder eyeshadow on top of the creams is going to help set the creams because if you don't set them, um, it might move around and it might crease at certain areas. So I'm using the black eyeshadow and kind of working that in. I don't want to cover everything because you want this to be very multi-dimensional in color. So you only want to put colors in different areas and make sure you don't blend them all together. So it kind of can look a little bit patchy. That's kind of the point of this. So I'm working the black really well into my skin. Um, at this point, I wasn't really sure I was going to wear a wig yet. If I had known that I was going to wear a wig, I probably wouldn't have even bothered doing my ears and stuff. But um, yeah, depending on what you wear. Having a little coffee break here, needed some energy. <laughs> Next, I'm grabbing one of my favorite palettes for Halloween time. This is the Ben Nye Grand Lumiere palette. I am so enthusiastic about this palette because it is so pigmented. It just works and the colors are just great for Halloween looks. And I'm using the bright blue that's in this palette. I think it's called Cosmic Blue. And I'm going all over the areas that were blue. So I kind of have some areas on my chest that are more blue anyway where I applied the cream face paint. So you want to apply the corresponding color in those areas of that makes sense. So I'm kind of covering up some of the blue patches with the bright vibrant blue. Then I'm going in with a bright purple. This is by MUA. I'm going to have all the products, the exact names listed in the info bar. Um, but this is like a really intense purple and I'm layering this over the purple that I already applied with the cream um, base and the other 
colors below so kind of adding a little bit of purple in there Next I'm taking a white. Now this is actually a shadow by MAC and it ended up not being very pigmented so I ended up switching over to the Ben Nye Grand Lumiere palette after because it was so much more pigmented but um, some of the white I added this now with a more precise brush as you can see it's much more smaller um, because I really want the white to be like pops of highlights and I'm also like almost highlighting my face in the areas where you normally would so like cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, on my chin and on my forehead so your face almost looks highlighted. Um, also a little bit along my collarbone. Yeah, as you can see, this is way more pigmented than the MAC one, so. <laughs> I'm just like, why did I bother? The Grand Lumiere palette of an eye is so much a better quality. going back in with the bright intense blue from that Ben Nye palette and I'm going to apply this on my lid. This is just a really bright popping blue so I wanted it to almost like kind of you know pop out from the other darker blues that I use and I'm also going to be applying that onto my lower lash line. You don't have to be super careful with this. You can just kind of blend it out with all the other colors around your eye. And then I'm using the violet color in here. It's kind of like a pink violet and it's really great because it has a reflective property to it. So it almost kind of reflects like different colors and then I used this highlighting shade now this was a limited edition color by L'Oreal I think it was called chameleon or something and it has a duochrome finish which is very unusual for L'Oreal but it has this amazing like duochrome uh, turquoise finish so I used actually a little bit of that on different areas of my chest and neck as well because I felt like the duochrome really looked so perfect with this galaxy look and then I went in with the bright hot pink again on a smaller brush and just added some details here and there with that bright hot pink Now I'm going in with a black face paint. This is actually a cake eyeliner, um, but you can use a water activated face paint. So I'm using a toothbrush, getting a bunch of water on there into the black, and then it works almost like a liquid liner. Um, and then I'm using that toothbrush just to spackle it and spray it all over my face. This is really, really messy. So you wanna make sure you do this in an area of your house where it doesn't matter if you get the surrounding area dirty. And I'm going in with the same process or doing the same process with a white cake eyeliner or it's more like a, a white face paint actually and it's water activated and I just used a big floppy brush and just splattered the white all over and this is going to look like the little stars um, star constellations or whatever all over my face so yeah using a white face paint water activated super simple you can get that at any Halloween store this time of year so it looks really cool close up as you can see and then I wanted some larger spackles so I kind of like threw my paintbrush on myself. Now this is probably easier if you get someone else to do it, they'll be able to do a better job of this but again this is super messy <laughs> just to let you know. Alright then I'm grabbing a very small precise brush and I'm going to be adding in some stars and honestly I could have done these stars way better but I think it looked kind of neat anyway. Um, so I'm just using the white uh, cake liner or the white face paint again and just drawing in some sort of bigger stars. You can even do shooting stars or something if you want. I just drew in some little tiny stars everywhere. And then I also added in some white dots to make it look like a Milky Way or something like that, like a sort of bigger cluster of stars in different areas of my face. Then I used the Vivid Brights liner by NYX in the yellow color. You know sometimes when you look up in the sky and you see a star or a planet that has more of like a yellow color? So I added little bits of yellow into that Milky Way cluster. Then I decided to add some glitter on top of the cluster of stars. So first I'm applying some glitter adhesive. Um, this is by Lit Cosmetics. And then I added some glitter on top and it's kind of a reflective glitter. So it kind of picks up on whatever color is underneath and it kind of has a duochrome almost finish. And I also used a blue cosmetic glitter. Make sure you're always using cosmetic grade glitter. Don't just get the metallic glitter from a craft store. It can be very dangerous to get that into your eyes. It can actually um, really damage your eyes so always use cosmetic glitter if you're using it on your face and then I also added a pop of highlight into the center of my eyelid with a white and also filled in my eyebrows um, I didn't want to go for like a no eyebrow look so I just used a black cold pencil to fill in my brows and then brush them out with a um, brush but 
then I felt that was just a little bit too normal, so I added black glitter on top of my eyebrows, so I wanted like glittery black brows. I don't know, I just thought that went really well with the theme of the whole look, and I'm using a black cosmetic glitter by MAC Cosmetics here. I just added a very thin eyeliner on the top lids because I'm gonna be applying lashes later so I didn't want any blue or something showing through and then did a layer of mascara top and bottom of course just to hide my own natural lashes. For the lips, I didn't really like what I had going on so I used a blue liquid lipstick by Anastasia. Um, I'll have the exact name of it in the bottom. And then I layered some of the purple eyeshadow by MUA on top because it gives just a really nice accent and it's kind of hard to see here but I'm using the hot pink shade from the Ben Nye palette and doing kind of like an ombre gradient lip and I just applied the hot pink in the center of my lips and kind of blended that out all together and then in the very very middle I applied some of the white silver color from that palette and um, yeah blended everything together so it looks very you know like a gradient lip and I'm using these very intense lashes. Um, I got these at a beauty supply store. They didn't have a brand name or anything on them. They're more like drag kind of, drag queen kind of lashes, but they're perfect for Halloween because they're very intense. And then I just used these random lashes that I've already worn previously and I flipped those around and applied those on the lower lash so it's kind of, you know, curving outwards. So it just balances out the big lashes on the top to also have some lashes on the bottom. And then I just added some of the white shimmery color from the Ben Nye palette on the inner parts of my eyelids just for a pop of highlight. So I put on this white wig, which I think is just a really nice contrast to the dark colors, and then we're done with this look. If you like this video, please give me some feedback. I love reading your comments and seeing the thumbs up on my videos. I would very much appreciate that. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I have got so many more Halloween looks coming up, so make sure not to miss out. And you can also check out my Halloween playlist because I've done so many Halloween looks over the years, and I'm sure there's one in there that already fits your costume. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you very soon. Bye everyone!